Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be writing our first automation script using Selenium. So let's begin. In our previous session, we learned that how we can set up Selenium in Eclipse. And if you remember that we set up this Selenium for setup project and we created this package here, right? And now what we will do is that we will create an other package here and we will say this as first first automation first automation script okay and i'm click on finish and under this one uh let me rename actually so let me refactor this one because this is a package so we will name it as automation scripts click ok and continue and here under this one we would be creating a class here and let me name it as first first script and click on this one and this one finish so this is a basic code generated by eclipse now what we need if you remember in our previous sessions we discussed that we need drivers in order to automate our website using the selenium so let's suppose if we start working with the chrome so how we can you know run our automation scripts this means that we need chrome driver so go here into the browser and in browser just type download download chrome drive and you will get this website chromedriver.chromium.org slash downloads just click on this one and before that you need to ensure that whatever the version you are using for example if you are using 100 chrome version then you should be going with this chrome driver if you are using chrome driver 99 then you should download this one i'm using right now the 100 version so i'm downloading this option here so it will give you multiple options here it will give you options for mac linux and windows so i'm downloading for the windows and it will start downloading and let me open the folder here let me get this file here and let me go to my softwares and let me create a new folder here as selenium tutorials and under these tutorials let me paste this file now let me rename this one as 32 okay now unzip this file here it will create a folder here and you will get this exe file now using our java we need to set this property okay so in java we have system dot property through which we can tell our code that this is the location of our driver so we need to look provide the location of our driver in the project so go to the eclipse here and here in eclipse is system dot you can see set property and property so we are just setting one property click on this one and against this you need to provide the two things so one is the key and other is the value so what would be the key for this one so we the key here is that web driver dot chrome dot driver and and the value would be the path of your axi file okay so let me go here and this is the path okay and let me copy this one go to the eclipse again we need to provide the path here and again double slash chrome driver 
dot exe. So we need to provide a complete path here with the extension and it's showing some error this means that we need to provide a terminator here now our first step is done we are telling our script that go to this is my directory and under this directory you will find my chrome driver so that you can run my code on the chrome browser okay now what is the second step the second step here is to you know we need to initiate a chrome driver class so how we can do that so web driver driver equals to new chrome because we need to create a method we need to initiate chrome driver so that it will pick up and start executing our code so chrome driver so initiating and if you can see that it's asking for some error here so basically we need to import web driver and we also need to import the chrome driver and now you can see that here it's saying a yellow line so this means that this is a variable which is not being utilized as of now and let me put comments here so that you can understand line by line so step one was to provide the path of your driver so here in this case it's a chrome chrome driver then we have you have to initiate this chrome driver right the second step is to initiate initiate or instantiate create an object so there are multiple things you can call it as so uh, chrome, chrome now we have done our step one and then we have done with the step two now step three is that we are ready to launch our browser and we are ready to launch our first website through the automation script and this is really easy uh, what you need to do is that driver dot so you can see that there are multiple multiple methods available under this so we can do close we can find element we can get url so basically if i go with this get option and provide a string so it will open the browser so there are so many methods available we will discuss different methods while we are progressing with these tutorials so right now this driver dot get and you can see that it's asking for a string url okay so we need to provide the string url here and let me go here and let me go to testingfunter.com this is the website we would be opening so this is a website and we just need to copy this part from here and we need to go back here provide the url and that's it so congratulations you have written your first automation script where you would be opening your browser chrome browser and under this browser you would be opening your first application so let me run this as a java application and we will see what happens so it successfully opened the browser and it opened the testingfunder.com thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial